Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about pressure versus velocity. A lot of misunderstanding out there on, on uh, problem and solution paradigm. So hopefully we'll get a little education here and background and we'll be able to think through things a little bit better. So pressure, low frequency, it's waves of energy oscillating through the room. Okay, you're sitting here, you're sitting here, you're going to hear different things. Here you're going to hear too much, here you're going to hear not enough. So we want to try to get some balance here. We want to take this oscillating wave and make it like this. So it doesn't matter where you sit in its path, okay? So velocity is airflow, molecular movement across the surface area, okay? That's a middle frequency phenomenon. Low frequency is a pressure-based phenomenon. Waves versus rays, remember? Ocean versus sunshine. Ocean, low frequency, sunshine, middle and high frequency. Sunshine, straight, thin. Ocean, completely different. You don't see any similarities between those two, and there isn't. Think about the ocean and the sun, completely different. Okay? Our carbon is a pressure based technology, it's designed for low frequency. That's its sole function. 30 to 300, 30 to 50. Those are the two frequency ranges most small rooms have as low frequency issues. So that's why we designed the two units, the ACDA 10 and the ACDA 12. The ACDA 10 is broadband, 30 to 300. The ACDA 12 is 30 to 50. Those are the two frequency ranges we found in over 200 rooms that we tested to be the problematic frequency ranges that needed treatment in 95% of the cases. Okay. Carbon is pressure-based. Foam works on air movement or velocity. We have a piece of foam. The air moves across the surface. When it moves across the surface, we get friction. We have two sub things touching each other, so we get friction. Friction produces heat, produces absorption, energy change, transformation. Not energy destruction, energy change. Okay. Remember, physics is the law. Everything else is the suggestion. So we want to stay with technologies that treat the problem. And not every technology treats every problem. I don't care what you hear on the internet. There is no one size fits all. They're lying to you. There's a lot of that out there. I know because people try that stuff. You don't even have to take my word for it. You're thinking about trying something. I have a list of people that have already tried it and it didn't work. I'll be happy to put you in touch with them and they'll be happy to tell you about their failure. Trust me. So, because we fixed it and got it right for them. So they don't want other people to make the same mistake. Okay? So foam, our foam technology took me eight years and a couple million dollars to create. Now, the reason it's so different than other foams is because of the density and the cell structure. The density got me the resident frequency down to 125. Now, the lab tested down to 125, but it really goes down to about 100. And that gives you a really good starting point for treatment in small rooms, 100 cycles, because we make that break point. You know, at 100 cycles and below is low, and 100 cycles above is middle and high frequency, because we can treat 100 cycles with foam, okay? We may need to increase the thickness a little bit, but that depends on your situation. So foam... The density of it got me that 100, 125 cycle level of absorption. And then what I found out in most foams that are in the marketplace, if you look at them under a microscope, the cell structure is all over the place. There's big spaces between the cells. There's no continuity. Not our foam. Our foam has six-sided cells and they all interlock with each other. It's kind of like a beehive situation. Everything moves and locks together. Okay? There's no spaces between them. That's why you pick up a piece of our foam, you know it's different immediately because of its density, its weight, and the performance. I mean, you just hold it up to your mouth and hear the difference. Okay? So stay with products that solve problems. But first, you got to understand the basis for the problem. Pressure versus velocity. 
Those are the two things we need to think about. Pressure waves and air movement. Those are the two things we need to think about. Both treat separate problems in your room. So define the problem and apply the appropriate technology for the solution. And we can help you with that. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.